Hi guys and welcome to another video from Stupid is the Norm, the channel where we demonstrate how to become a millionaire in 10 years on minimum wage. And in this video I want to explain to you why it is that your job title is irrelevant. It doesn't matter what job you do, it's what you do with the money that is the secret source to becoming wealthy. The best job title I ever had was Senior Business Strategist for a law firm. I never actually met the junior business strategist, so I suspect I was the only business strategist, but it was just a flashy word. What actually I did was I was the salesman, but it so, looked so much better on my business card to say senior business strategist. Names and titles are very important to some people. They prefer a status within the company and um, a status within society when they show their business cards, you know, this flashy name on there. Employers know that as well. That's why they call people ninja software designers instead of just software designers because it's a way of compensating them for perhaps a poorer salary by giving them a flashier name. We spend a large proportion of our time at work, so it isn't surprising that our job becomes part of our character and we have a great job title. It also adds to the kudos that we get from that job title and elevates us, we believe, within society because of that title. You know, when two people met, it, it meet for the first time, it isn't long before somebody says, and what do you do? Meaning, what do you do for a living? And it's much better to come up with a flashy title rather than just a salesperson as I was, although I was given the word senior business strategist. Simply by the addition of manager on the end of an otherwise boring job title makes people feel a lot better amongst themselves. You know, I remember one time I had a job as a sales manager for a company and I give my dad my business card and it said on it, sales manager. He says, oh, you're sales manager and how many people do you manage? I said, I don't manage any, I don't have a team, it's just me. Well, how come you're a manager? And I said, well, because I managed the area that I've been allocated, but it looks a lot better on people's business cards and to some people it's a boost for their ego. But please, please, please know this. Your job is not who you are. Do not make it part of your character. It is merely a way of generating income and that's all it is. It should not be embarrassing to you to tell people you're a cleaner. If that cleaning job is providing an income, which in turn provides security and well-being and food for your family. And frankly, screw anybody who thinks it ought to be embarrassing. Anybody who thinks it's embarrassing to be a cleaner, probably the same people who have their LinkedIn profile, although they only work in HR as being the chief people hugger. I have a friend of mine who works in advertising, but delivers pizza for three nights a week and makes 290 pounds a week cash but occasionally he knocks on the door of somebody who knows him and they are surprised when they open the door to see him not dressed in his shirt and tie but in his pizza boy delivery gear and they'll say you know my god why are you doing this thinking he's in some sort of shortfall in terms of income and then what he says to them he's got a, a script off path and he says i've calculated that i do this for three nights a week over the two next 10 years i'll have saved up over two hundred thousand pounds and that's going to be part of my retirement plan what's your plan by the way and he just lets it hang there. You see, he's not embarrassed about the job he's doing because he knows that little extra job is gonna make him a fortune. And that's the important bit. It's not what you do, it's not the title of the job you do, it's the income that it generates that is important. And more important than that is what you do with that income. I had another business friend of mine who had retired and made little provision for his retirement planning and confessed to me that he was struggling to get by in terms of income. So when I suggested that I'd just been to Sainsbury's and there was a sign on the door saying they were looking for guys to collect trolleys out from the car park and bring them back into the store and they were paying over 10 pounds an hour. He said, well, I couldn't possibly do that job. What if somebody from my ex-business saw me? What if my customer saw me? What would they think of me? And again, he was being guilty of associating himself with the job. It doesn't matter what other people think. Who cares what other people think? It's the income this job generates that's important. And if you need that income, you should be prepared to do anything. You shouldn't be proud of your job or your job title. They are irrelevant. It's the income that it generates. That's what you should be proud of. And more importantly, what is you should be proud of is what you do with the money. If you're working, cleaning an office out, but you're using that money to provide an emergency fund for your family, that's deserving of pride. That's deserving of praise. If you're using that money to build up something for your retirement so you and your partner can live the lifestyle you desire when you retire, then that's deserving. That's worthy of praise. That's what you should be proud of. If you're driving around in a car that's on higher purchase and paying for your holidays and credit cards, but you think the world deserves you some respect because your business card says CEO, and it's just one person working for the company that, and that's you, then you're fooling nobody, mate, only yourself. 
Instead of spending your money trying to look wealthy, perhaps you should be investing it to make sure you get wealthy. You are many things. You're a parent, a brother, a sister, an uncle, a grandparent, kind, considerate. You are lots of things, but please do not be your job. You are not your job. So if you need some extra income and you see an advertisement in a chip shop window saying delivery driver needed, then go and do it. It doesn't matter about the title. What's worthy of praise is you're willing to put yourself out and work extra hours for your family. That's something to be proud of, guys. Don't be stupid and don't be normal.